kick is good. 10.7, one to six, two. Good day YouTube, I'm at Garden of the Gods. Football season started. What I showed you at the beginning of this video, Air Force football last week and I went to the uh, season opener and they won. They won yesterday, so that's good. My pro team Oakland Raiders lost game one of this season, so here we go again. Hopefully we start to change things because we haven't been good in 11 years. It's time to change that. Today I wanna to talk about finances. Another financial story. I used to deal or meet with individuals every week for about five, maybe six years on finances. And some people like finances, some people love it, some people don't like it. This does, it doesn't matter if you're active duty, reserve, military, civilian, young or old. Finances, like I've said before, will always be an important part of your life. The best thing that I can say is be great at the basics. You don't have to be an investment expert. What are the basics? You have to have a budget. You have to have a vision, a goal. I used to meet with individuals who lived so they can make it to the next payday on the 15th. And then from the 15th all the way, so they lived so they can make it back to the first of the month when they get paid. When you're very young, I can see that happening. I used to be one of those individuals as well. But as you get older, mid-20s on up, Make some changes. You don't have to live paycheck to paycheck if you're living paycheck to paycheck. Just because you're watching this doesn't mean that you live paycheck to paycheck. I'm gonna say that there are people watching this, hopefully, that are very smart when it comes to finances, maybe even smarter than me. I'm not gonna say I'm the best or the most experienced individual from the broad world of finances, but I'm very great at the basics. And that's how it begins. You have to have a budget, a vision, don't have debt. If you have debt, okay, get out of debt. It's going to take time. I've been there as well where I had debt and I paid it off and I never got back in debt. Credit cards companies are not our friends. I have one credit card with my wife that we've had for 15 years and not one, not once for those 15 years have we paid interest because we paid in full, period, online. I use it as a convenience thing. Um, I don't use it that much, maybe for gasoline or for this or for that, not often, but I always pay it up full. I pay it off in full before the bill even comes. I do it online. I don't pay interest. It's a convenience thing. You can also use your debit card if you have that. So do whatever works best for you. So I would talk to people who had a lot of debt or some debt and they just, it didn't click. Unfortunately, in my opinion, it didn't click for them as to you can do things different. You can work hard and play hard and have a great financial life. I will also say that I'm proof of the next thing that I'm going to say, which is it's not how much you earn, it's what you do with what you earn. If you earn X number of dollars per paycheck, spend less than that X amount, and then you're gonna build wealth over time. So you have to have a vision. It helps to read books, listen to radio personalities out there on television that talk about finances. Learn from your parents, whether it's the positive, or the negatives that they have done. So that's what I've done. I've observed many people, positives and negatives, and I said, I wanna do something just like that or I wanna do something different. So it's paying attention. It's being very deliberate when it comes to finances. I make a lot of videos on Air Force, on military, on finances, but here's the thing. I think that finances is such an important thing that we have to be proactive as individuals. And by doing so, it's gonna benefit us and our family. I have the GI Bill. My daughter's going to start college in about one year from now, and we are going to maximize that benefit. And then after that, we have money set aside. So after four years of college, and I expect her to finish in four years, because that's her full-time job, or will be her full-time job, is uh, she won't have any, any student loans. That's a benefit right there that is a good thing. Debt is a four-letter word. Think of it as a four, 
a bad word, a four-letter bad word. I think so. I've been in debt myself in the past. Never again do I want to be in debt. It's not how much you earn. It's what you do. Be proactive. Have a vision. Begins with the budget. Adjust. Modify as needed. Make it happen. And you, just like I and anybody out there, can be financially successful with the basics. Now, if you're an investment uh, expert, great. If you're above and beyond the budget, great. Do whatever works for you because we're all different. We all have to do whatever works for us. But take uh, charge of your finances. I love when I see young people, very young people, do great things with their finances. And I ask them, how did you learn that? And they said, well, somebody taught me. That could have been the parent or a family member or a mentor. Somebody taught these individuals. Far, far few in between. Because because the most common are the individuals who have no vision, were never taught uh, anything about finances, and think that credit cards are there to, to max out. I disagree with that. Make it happen. Be great with your finances. Begin at the basics. Go to the base library or go to a library. Borrow books. Take care. I hope it helps.